everyone! So today Colleen and I wanted to do a collection video for you guys. We actually have been wanting to do this for a while, but it just kept getting put off. So we wanted to show you our porcelain dolls. I've gotten asked in the past if I collect porcelain dolls or bisque dolls, you know, like the older, more classic kinds of dolls. Um, I don't, we don't, but we do have a few and the reason why- Oh! Oliver just pulled Jackie O's bail off. Will you get off? Leave Jackie alone. Oh, he's obsessed with Jackie O. The reason why these dolls are so special. Ollie has a girlfriend. And the reason why we wanted to show you these dolls is because all of them but two were my grandmother's. So they mean a lot to us. So just a little like background on these dolls. Um, our grandmother is probably where we got our love for dolls from. She used to have tons Toy of Toy collecting genes running that side of the family. Of porcelain dolls. And she would get them all the time from like people in the family. She'd order them for herself. And actually the cabinets my American Girl dolls live in that you guys have seen in videos, those were actually made by my grandfather for my grandmother's porcelain dolls. They meant a lot to her, but when she passed away, she had so many and at the time her house looked like an episode of Hoarders. Like my dad had trouble getting a hold of people in the family to see if they wanted any of the dolls, so some of them got broken and we just felt really bad, so when about what, six years ago now? Yeah, it was 2011. Um, we ended up selling a lot of them to, at a yard sale to this really sweet old lady who really, really loved them. But we kept our favorites because we wanted to take like really good care of the ones we did have. So these are the ones that we really liked as kids. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to the dolls. These two dolls were both manufactured by the company Brass Key. Um, and they don't have like special names. This is the 03 version and this is the 04 version if I'm not mistaken. You are correct. So, this beautiful lady here is probably my favorite porcelain doll of them all. And that's because Colleen surprised me with her. I have a really special relationship with Snow White. So, really quickly, basically, um, in 2011, when I got back into collecting dolls, I had taken a five year break as a teenager. You know, I thought I was too cool and too mature for dolls. And I started collecting Disney dolls, and that's what got me back into collecting them in general. And my dad always found me Snow White stuff. And I always liked watching Snow White as a kid, but it was dad finding me things and getting like a really cool, diverse Snow White collection that made me connect with her. So to this day, Snow White is my favorite one to collect. She means the most to me. And knowing that, Colleen found this beautiful lady. Yeah, I was out on work study actually. Um, my kids at the school I work at used to go there, the Salvation Army, to do work study. I saw her, she was in the wrong box. She was in like the right tray, but she was in like one of those like children's animator dolls boxes. And she was actually eight dollars, but I thought I would take a gamble on her because I knew what Shelly felt for Snow White, so I surprised her with her one day. And uh, she's actually one of my favorite Snow White pieces in the collection because She's like signature Snow White, but bigger and even more detailed. She's just pricelessly yeah. beautiful. She is absolutely gorgeous. I love her face. I love the way her head is tilted. And I liked her so much that I wanted more of these since I got this doll. And I've seen other ones, but people tend to like want more than I want to pay, like flea markets and stuff. Um, but we found her at the Salvation Army. Uh, Same one. Yep, this year. And she is really beautiful. She's in one of my videos. I don't remember if it's a Dolly Transformation or if it's a Dolly Diaries, but she is in one of my videos. She was in really beat up shape. You can see she's like missing a thumb and she needed like her whole wig to be washed and set. They're Barbie obsessed with Jackie. They really love Jackie O. I love her and I love her outfit. There is a really special story behind these dolls. So they were kind of like a mystery. It took me a long time to figure out what these were. The reason why I love these so much is because Okay, Andy, they can't, they can't see. Come on, come on, get out of the way. Okay. Is when we were growing up and we would um, sleep over at our grandparents' house, these were in my um, grandmother's bedroom and they were on actually the bureau behind us. It's the centerpiece of my grandmother's bureau. And as a kid, I kind of thought they were weird looking because they're like clothy, like you can't undress them and they're not porcelain, but I figured I'd include them in the video. But when we were going through the dolls to decide which ones to get rid of, I vouched for these. Colleen didn't care, but like, <laughs> you've seen them in the background next to my Brat's dollhouse, and they're my favorites um, 
besides my Princess Diana you'll see in a minute that my grandmother had. I just really remember them and they're actually really beautiful in their own strange way and they have these really cool costumes. I just wish there was a better way to clean them. So then we have um, the three like I guess like historical kind of figures. Um, they're all by Franklin Mint. They're all by Franklin Mint. Diana is Princess just Diana of Wales. Princess of Wales. And um, Jackie O is missing her tag. But you wrote what she is Jackie down. Jackie O is the Franklin Mint heirloom dolls. She's the ball of the century heirloom doll. And so Diana licked your butt right over her face, Andy. Yes, so this is Grace Kelly. Jackie O. Kennedy, and then Princess Diana. So the story behind these three dolls, I remember my grandmother got these. They used to be in one of the doll cabinets in my room back when she lived in her own house. And I thought they looked a lot like Barbie dolls, so I really liked them. I mean, they're a lot taller, and obviously they're made from a different material, but like, just like the way the faces are painted, they're really, okay, Andy, no, it's not the um, they just look a lot like Barbie dolls to me, and I really, really liked them, and my favorite was Princess Diana because I loved Princess Diana as a kid, and, like, even in high school, I remember doing a project on her. I just always really liked Princess Diana. When we were younger, our grandmother said that, like, when she passed away, she wanted us each to have a doll, and I always was torn between this lady over here, Princess Diana, and that doll over there, and when... My grandmother was sick, and we had to move her entire apartment like to our house in the basement. That's how a lot of the porcelain dolls got broken, but I cared so much about Princess Diana that I actually put her in my bedroom so nothing happened to her because I didn't want her getting broken. Before we had so many American Girl dolls, she was actually in the cabinet with them. I remember we used to have like this make-believe game that we kind of based off of these dolls, like where I would be Princess Diana <laughs> and remember like... I think I was your servant. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why you wanted me to be the invalid because I didn't want to like lay in the bed, but it was just this weird game and when I look at these dolls, I remember, I remember being in Meme's spare bedroom playing that game. So there, these three are some of my favorites, especially Princess Diana. So this is the little jump rope girl. She is from the Dynasty doll collection, and her name is Johanna. You named her Bethany. I named her Bethany. She's always been Bethany to me, and she was my favorite until my grandmother got Princess Diana. And I just really liked her little jump rope, and she was the one that I always wanted to get. Um, to like inherit from my grandmother. Um, I don't like feel as much for her now as an adult, but when we were going through them, I knew I had to keep her because she was kind of like a little piece of my childhood. He I was thinking of him as the toilet paper boy, but by, he's actually. Yeah, Ashton Drake, catch me if you can. Here, you can hold him. And he comes with a roll of. So I actually paper. still remember the day Mamma opened this and thinking he was just really cool. He's adorable. I love the giraffes. Um, I still remember her opening him and thinking he was just cute. So I vouch that we keep him. He's yeah, and we always loved like doll bathroom related stuff. So this like roll. Oh up. yeah, it actually looks like it's been used because, because it's old and dirty. Yeah, it's filthy. It's squalid. It looks like he wiped his. Yeah, Mama used to have it like draped all around him. Yeah. So then these three are also by Ashton Drake, and they are the Little Women. So this is Meg, Meg Joe, Joe, Beth, and Amy. Beth and Amy. So. These are ones Colleen wanted to keep. Um, the reason I vouched for them is because actually back in summer 2011, I was in the closet downstairs, I don't know for what, and I found this and it was with some of Meme's other stuff, so I figured it was hers and it's really old and really beat up. Vouched that I wanted to read it, I snuck it into my room and read it, and then I vouched that we keep these after reading it because I enjoyed the book and it's like having part of Meme and um, there's a scene in the book where Joe and Amy are out like socializing together because you know back in the days before women had jobs and people like did a lot of stuff a lot of these people kind of just went out socially gathering and um, Joe and Amy went out one day in the story to like go to somebody's house and socialize and Joe was misbehaving and it just reminded me so much of myself and Shelly like that Amy, the younger sister, was telling Joe, the older sister, how to behave in public because Joe is just not behaving in public. And I'm Joe, Shelly was Amy, so I just and This is a I really old book, book, right? I don't know when this was 32. From Aunt Cecilia, 1932. Oh my god. Then we have this lady over here. She is... She's a McField treasure doll. 
from 1996. So actually, I know you didn't even need to tell me she was 90, from 96 because I know she was from 96. I actually know a lot about the origins of this doll. This is one of the ones that I remember Mama getting, and I'm pretty sure, but I'm not 100% sure, that she was actually a gift from my Uncle Donald and Aunt Linda to my Meme. And I knew she was from 96 because that was around the time I got my American Girl doll Molly. I had just read Molly's book and really liked Molly's friend Emily Bennett, so when I saw this cute doll with glasses, which I love, even though Emily Bennett didn't wear glasses, I thought, oh, well, I'd like to take this doll home, put her at my little tea set, and make her my Emily. So this was his childhood, what Emily Bennett was to me. You have Emily. And yes, and I was about to say, now that I'm all grown up, and they made Emily Bennett, like, ten years after the fact, this is my real Emily Bennett. <clears throat> now I just want to say that the fake Emily Bennett could crush the real Emily Bennett. I mean, she looks kind of like she'd be a bully, like she'd beat her up, huge. like she'd shove her. Yeah, she just, she looks scary. I'm sorry, Emily. And um, also, I have to say, this Emily Bennett is prettier and more awesome because, you know, she's Molly's real friend and not just some dog pretending. But <laughs> I'll always have, like, the way that Shelly feels about little Bethany, I'll always feel this, like, sentimental attachment to Emily that, like, even though she's not as... Like, she's definitely not my favorite porcelain little doll now. I'll tell you who is in a minute. She used to be, and she's like a piece of my childhood and of my history with Molly and of sleeping over my grandmother's house that, like, nothing could ever replace. So I feel for her what Shelly felt for Bethany. So even though she's huge and was hard to, like, hang on to, I um, would never part with her. Yeah. Oh, I also want to say we had um, her Shirley Temple doll. Um, we ended up giving her to her aunt because we found out that she wanted her. We so there is her. another porcelain doll from Mame still in the family. Yes. And then this is Colleen's favorite one, Anne of Green Gables. She's actually been living mostly on my nightstand for about five years now, but um, we redid my room and we just decided she can live with the other porcelain dolls in the closet for now unless I change my mind. But Just because um, the cats really... Like, obviously, you can see he pulled Jackie O's veil off again. <laughs> um, yeah, he likes they, Jackie they too much. Poor over. Jackie. So, Meme would say to me, actually, she would say to her friends, whenever she had company over, she would tell them, she reminds me of Anne of Green Gables talking about me because I'm the crazy girl with too much imagination that talks way too much. So And you were always melodramatic. And, yes, I was also melodramatic. Good point. So, she would tell people proudly... She reminds me of Anne of Green Gables. So when I realized that this was Anne of Green Gables, and I think the Anne of Green Gables books that I have Oliver. are too. Oh, poor Joe! Oh. Ollie, seriously. Um, I realized that I absolutely had to keep this doll because she reminded me of Meme in a way that no, none of the other dolls can because she reminds me of Meme paying me a compliment whenever she accompanies, so. Yeah. She's my and favorite. And you do remind me of Anne. Like, we have the movies and Colleen has the books and she definitely reminds me of Anne. Very, very, that part where she's in the boat. Oh and my she's god, doing I that, love she's that She's like part. play acting. I was like, that would be going. Yeah, and all that dead. Like, fake swooning she does, it's like, <laughs> I pretended to faint in fifth grade on the last day of school and scraped my elbow and had to go to the nurse. <laughs> <laughs> so, for those of you kids out there, don't pretend to faint because you could actually end up in the school nurse's office and not because anyone bought the acting. So, thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed meeting these dolls and um, I hope to kind of start getting back to like making more regular videos in the near future. I can't like promise like transformation videos or certain like kinds of tutorials because I don't have control over like those kinds of dolls. Hope you enjoyed and until next time, love your dolls, love yourself, and love your life.